We're now going to be talking about something very important in mathematics, and that's a thing called the Cartesian plane. The Cartesian plane is basically a big, huge crosshairs um, with numbers that go along each line. So in the center we have zero, and this will be our x-axis. Oops, I almost wrote y. This will be our x-axis, and this will be our y-axis. So let's put some numbers on here. So this is, would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This would be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. This would be plus 1, y, 2, 3, and 4. And this would be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Now you may ask yourself, why do we use this? What's the, what's the benefit? Well, it's to plot points and determine the distance between points. Let's say if you have your car parked out front of your garage, you want to say, how far is my garage? Well, you could use a Cartesian plane uh, placed on your driveway to tell how far that is away. But it's way more useful than that. Let's say we pick a point here. We're going to call this point A. And that A is, uh, we put coordinates on that A, which is 1, 2 in circle brackets. That means that it's 1 in the x. Oh, sorry, my bad. That's backwards. It's 2, 1, because it goes x, y. So any coordinates is going to be x, y, like that. That's how you plot points on a graph. Um, you can also get a table of values. So let's say you had a table of values with x and y, where you have x is 1, 2, 3, and y is 1, 2, 3. Well, this is actually just a few points on the graph, which would be 1, 1, right here. Oh, we'll draw it on a different color so it's easier to see. 1, 1 would be right here. 2, 2 would be right here. And 3, 3 would be right here, which eventually we'll talk about will form this line. And we'll talk about how to find the points from there. But that's what we're using it for. We're going to be graphing on this. We're going to be calculating lines, solving equations, and uh, basically exploring this in the most expensive way we can. So that's the Cartesian plane, and uh, leave any comments in the videos, in the video comments.